on your heart, heavy on your mind, wandering the streets tonight. If you're looking for a home, you are not alone. I can be your guiding light. Cause I promise you, I'm a dreamer too. Heavy on my heart, wandering the streets tonight.
So I think my favorite hockey memory from high school would have to be uh, probably winning the CBJ Cup my freshman year on JV. I think that uh, I think it was the first time UA had won it in nine years. So yeah, it was a really cool experience. Um, if I had to give any advice to future players, it's to uh, enjoy it while it lasts because of course it does go uh, by really quickly. Um, you know, have fun with your teammates, have fun with the sport, and then you can look back and you know, really appreciate those moments. I would like to thank all the coaches that have supported me um, over the past four years and um, uh, also my teammates. Uh, it's been a lot of fun getting to work with everybody and uh, to just grow not only as hockey players but also uh, grow as people. So, yeah. My favorite memory was beating Liberty in the district finals. And then, if I had advice for any like future players, it would be make sure you enjoy it while you can. It only lasts so long. And like, make work hard the entire time because who knows how many more chances you'll get to be a part of something this day. And then, I would like to thank my coaches, my teammates, and my family for making my career of playing hockey so enjoyable throughout these past four years. My name's Sam Cannon. Uh, my favorite memory is beating St. Charles 10 times, including ending their season junior year. My advice to future players is to come together. My favorite memory from my time at UA has to be the back-to-back -back, uh, district championships we won, playing in the Frozen Four, um, especially how that last one ended. It was pretty special. My word of advice for all the younger guys would be just don't take anything for granted. I know you'll hear that a thousand times, but you really don't realize how much you're gonna miss this place until you're in my shoes and you're graduating. So, you know, soak it all in, whether it's the 6 a.m. practices, the Monday night practices, you know, games, tournaments, whatever. Um, just soak it all in, because you're never gonna get it back. Um, and I'd like to give thanks just to everybody that's helped along the way, whether that's, you know, my family, friends that have come support us, the, obviously the coaches and everybody who's played with me. Um, it takes a village to be as successful as we've been, and. Um, just like to give thanks to each and every one of you. Uh, my favorite memory from the past four years has definitely been winning back-to-back -back district titles. And my advice would just be to take it all in. I know it sounds cliche, but I was a freshman sitting at this banquet. I'm thinking I had a lot of years left and it went by super fast. So definitely don't take anything for granted. And I'd like to say thanks to my coaches and teammates for making this a super memorable four years. I have a lot of great memories from playing at UA. Um, I would say probably some of my favorite are making it to the CBJ Cup um, a few times in a row. Um, but other than that, just being able to be with my friends, um, be able to play the sport I love, it was always enjoyable. Um, something I will forever look back on and be grateful for. Um, my advice for future players would be to take everything one step at a time. Don't rush things, um, be grateful. Um, and be aware of the time you have um, and the memories that you'll be creating because um, you don't want to look back and regret anything that you missed out on. Um, I want to say thank you to my coaches, my parents, my family, um, and my teammates for always pushing me, encouraging me, encouraging me to do better and be better, um, always helping me out along the way um, with anything, anything I needed. Um, also for future players, make sure you are thanking your teammates and your coaches because um, they're always pushing you, whether you are acknowledging it or not. They're always uh, making you one one step better every single day, every single practice. Um, so take that, don't take that for granted. Um, make sure you're you know putting in all the effort that you can to be the best player you can be and the best person you can be. I also want to say thank you to my community and my school. Um, it was a great place to play. It was a great place to grow up. Um, I enjoyed every second of it. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. So just don't take anything for granted and work your hardest. Hi, I'm Nolan. And um, one of my favorite high school hockey memories is going to the Frozen Four back to back years and uh, everyone getting their haircuts. Um, one word of advice I would give to any freshman or underclassman would be to really value the four years you have at Upper Arlington playing hockey there as it'll be some of the best years of your life and uh, to build really strong connections with uh, your teammates and your coaches. Uh, I want to thank all the players, coaches, parents, 
that made a great four years for me. Uh, it was a great experience, had really fun all four years. Um, my favorite memory was going on the run this year with the boys. It was a great experience, fell a little short, um, but it was really fun, so it's my favorite memory. My biggest advice to the underclass would be to work. Um, there's no really reason not to. You're here, the next four might as well put the work in. Um, if you want to be good and you want to be great, you want to win, you got to. Um, there's no there's no going around it, no cheating, so put the work in. So at first off, I'd like to go through my favorite memories as being a Golden Bear, and the first one that always comes to me is um, our great sportsman-like games in St. Charles. Uh, I feel like they always showed us the utmost respect, and uh, it was always clean games, and you know, I've really just created so many friendships through that rivalry, you know, on both sides. I know they feel the same as well. Um, they personally let me know how much they like me, which is great. And then um, I'd like to go through um, my thanks to the coaches, Hoogie and Hamish. Um, you guys were great all the way through. Uh, sometimes even letting me call shots on the bench. That was pretty. That was a pretty cool experience. Uh, and then Coach Hadcole for not ripping off my head when I uh, waved him out, waved him off at a tournament once. Um, still don't know how I'm standing here today. And then Coach Brett, who would always pick me up and also put me down. Uh, yeah, that was a very humbling experience at times. Um, he literally put me down once at practice. And then uh, my advice to the younger classmen is enjoy it. It goes by super fast. Uh, I'd do anything to play another game. But um, score some goals next year. Uh, definitely gonna throw, need to throw a couple of those in there. And then if Preston's acting up, put the first shot beside his head. And after that, if he's still acting up, put the second shot in between his eyes. And if you do those things, you should have a good season next year. So go get him, boys.
show it right now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>